Hello, I'm Kevin Smith from the Mardi Model Railway Club and in this video we're going to show you a new way that we discovered to move and exhibit our Z-Gage Model Railway layouts. Having used tried and trusted methods like separate legs and also seen other people struggling using tables provided by exhibition organisers, um, we, over the years we developed a system that A made the layouts easy to transport and also all the ancillary equipment with it and also provided a stable and firm foundation with some storage once the show is actually opened. The key to this method that we use is this universal plinth which is basically a box on wheels which is very easy to pull in and out of holes, there's no carrying involved. When it's in the car or van on the way to and from exhibitions it sits at the base of everything else and is a useful storage box for putting toolboxes, stock boxes control panels and that in. When the show is actually open it provides some storage for all the clutter that you end up with at shows and there's a lockable section where we tend to keep any valuables like stock locked up at night. Um, there's a couple of cable clips there just to tidy cables up as they come off the lighting rig and this is designed to take all of the four foot by two foot six Z gauge layouts that we have so it's, we only need one plinth for all of the layouts. Now the other part of this system are these metal frames fabricated from one inch box section steel just a simple welding job and these actually do all the work. The plinth itself is narrower than the baseboards which are normally two foot six and what these do is cantilever the baseboards out on one side and with these extensions at the back provide a shelf for the control panels to go at the rear of the layer and these have two pegs that engage in holes on the top of the plinth and just one bolt holds them on. On this one gravity is actually our friend in that we're not over engineering it because at the end of the day the weight of the layout is going to hold all this together anyway. The right hand one actually has the electrics running through it. Um, this takes the power up to the lighting rig and again Just the two studs in the top to line it up. One 8mm bolt. And there you can see basic support frame for any of the layouts that we take to a show that are 4 foot by 2 foot 6. All of our Z gauge layouts transport in flight cases, custom made flight cases with wheels on the bottom. Uh, there's no point carrying things around for the sake of it. Wheels make life a lot easier, particularly if you're a long way away from the entrances to some of the exhibitions that we do. They also provide very good protection when it's being transported in the car and also means you can stack up on top. So, like most of our layouts, there's just four bolts retaining the flight case cover on and as you can see the electronics and that are all protected by being sat up inside the frame with tool clips basically holding the cables out of the way. So now we've actually put the baseboard up on the plinth you can see how it's cantilevering out from the front of the plinth. We've left the flight case uh, cover on at the moment because the nice thing about this is that at night it shows when we want to cover it up and keep the dust on it's relatively easy just to drop the box back on. So we just take that flight case lid off now this hasn't outlived its usefulness yet what we'll do with this once we set up at the show is actually put this on its side behind the layout and it's just the right width for putting all the stock boxes on because it's hollow at the back it's also a good place to store all the boxes for the control panels 
tool things and that that we don't actually need during this show and again it keeps all the clutter out of the way when you're actually exhibiting. So we can see how the front of the baseboard actually rests virtually at the end of the horizontals on the A-frame. I'll pull it slightly forward when we're finished um, and you can just virtually see nothing of those uh, tubes then. At the rear the layout butts up against the vertical parts of the frames and you can see I've already unclipped and dropped the two main cables they're going to go to the control panel and power pack. 